the international airport take over amimo a very good afternoon to you we know this has been ongoing especially with the public accounts committee and the transport committee as well meeting various um, stakeholders in this proposed takeover bring us up to speed with the pointers that emerged today very well it is a matter that was that has captured the parliament's attention both the public uh, investments committee and the transport committee the national the speaker of the national assembly uh, justin muturi had to rule on the way forward over this particular matter and that's why we see the transport committee has now uh, taken over charge of this particular issue and this morning they were meeting with the cs transport uh, uh, james masharia together with the ps esther koime just to shed more light on these uh, public uh, privately initiated investment proposal where Kenya Airways wants to take over operations of the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport that falls under the domain of the Kenya Airports Authority. Members are concerned that Kenya Airways is a loss-making entity, yet Kenya, Airways, uh, Kenya Airports Authority is a profit-making venture. And that's why some of the questions that uh, uh, the, the members of the committee have just been putting to the CS to explain. Uh, just joining me is the chairperson of the uh, Transport Committee, Honorable David Kosin, just on the policy to take over. Yeah. This matter. Uh, yes, Patrick, uh, we were discussing uh, with the CS matters of policy. In other words, for the people of Kenya to understand, the question is what informed the government to move this direction? And what is the direction, direction of having PIP then to address what, is it, what was it aiming to address? And therefore, the minister was coming or he came to address the issues of policy. And it's now very clear before the people of Kenya and my committee that executive and government and, 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 and cabinet were the, of the opinion and given direction that we need to review or restructure the aviation industry. Why uh, this restructure? It is because Kenya is losing competitiveness to other nations. And therefore, that is going to affect our, our economy. It's going to affect jobs. You know, it's going to affect everything in terms of transport. And remember, and the people of Kenya must recall that our country, and Nairobi particularly, yeah, was designed you know, as a capital, as a financial capital city for Africa, and particularly in the East Africa. And therefore, transport and aviation is a critical component of, of, of that achievement, or that we achieve Nairobi to become a financial hub. And therefore, then the government has realized that then we are losing competitiveness. Who are these we are losing competitiveness to? We are losing to Ethiopia, we are losing to Rwanda, even countries that we are not supposed even to talk about in terms of losing competitiveness. So then the government, which is executive, have given a direction today. Now we have understood that that is the direction which actually they want to achieve. The question now that is remaining mm, within us as a people of Kenya and Parliament until the end of this hearing, which is about three, three weeks, is, is PIIP that was proposed by KQ the best option then to return Nairobi and particularly Jomo Kenyatta to competitiveness? And number two, where the PIIP then will also raise you know, the, 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 the feasibility and also competitiveness of KQ itself. Because if KQ is a national carrier, and now the minister proposed and is given direction to say the cabinet is of the opinion that we, we, rethink, uh, we rethink about the, 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 the mandate of KQ, you know, from that of being commercial to that of being our national asset as a people of Kenya. Yes, and looking at it, KQ is a private, uh, is a pri a private entity, and there are concerns that you can see this. Uh, how can a private entity take over operations of a public, a, a, a public or, or national asset? And what the committees are thinking about? Because I've also had this year, like, is of opinion, probably, uh, the, we might uh, decide to nationalize uh, the Kenya Airways. Yeah, that, 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 Patrick, uh, Mimo, and, and the people of Kenya, we cannot jump the gun now. We want to hear, but, but one of the proposal or thinking is, then, if we need to help uh, KQ or even also reform our vision uh, industry, one of the considerations will be nationalizing KQ. It is on the table. It's a serious discussion. But now because they are coming in the afternoon and, and, and we are still talking to a number of other stakeholders, but it is a possibility of nationalizing KQ. You know why? So that now if we nationalize KQ, right, should we nationalize or should we go that direction of nationalizing KQ? Then KQ becomes 100% GOK and KA 100% GOK. Then that is now at a moment we can now discuss about uh, synergizing the activities and the resources, you know, so that the resources can flow horizontally, meaning from KA to KQ and from KQ to KA. But, th but that, is, that is preliminary. That is, that is, we cannot have that conclusion now. You know, it's about thinking. And looking at it, your members are also concerned about this particular, if should this particular proposal uh, sail through where now uh, KQ takes over operations of JKIA, which almost earns 80% of revenue yes. to KAA, yes. what will happen of these other airports and, and airstrips? Will they, will they collapse? Will they co collapse? 
Uh, that is a question we are asking ourselves as a committee that if that proposal of uh, PIP right was to take uh, was to take uh, JKI what happened with with other with other estates but I think for the people of Kenya Patrick there is something that came out today and I want the people of Kenya to understand because there's been a debate and saying oh why do we want KA to work with the KQ I, I want them to understand this that resources of KA 70 percent of KA uh, profitability or resources or income is from KQ, right? So meaning what? Meaning if we leave KQ to die, and then actually KA, KKA will also die. And therefore, it, there is some symbiosis relationship between these two organizations. But there was no leak of framework upon which they can also enjoy that symbiosis. And therefore, the people of Kenya need to understand that we are not, or people, people, I mean, the, the government is not saying that KQ should just take off a, a KA. No, it is how do we grow both of them so that they can benefit. So the growth of KQ is also the growth of KA. Thank you so much. That is, uh, th thank you so much. That's the chairperson of uh, uh, Transport Committee, David Kosi, just trying to share with us uh, some tidbits on uh, this particular controversy about the care plan by Kenya Airways to take over the running of our main international airport, JKIA, from Parliament and Patrick Amemo. Back to the studio. All right, many thanks, our senior parliamentary.